All right, what is up, guys? Uh, as you can see by the title of this video, this is going to be a questing guide. I have finished every single quest in the game as of right now. That is including uh, Chapter 4 that was uh, released recently. Uh, and I've been just pushing quests pretty much right time they come out to complete them as fast as possible to get any potential rewards. And I will do that for the same quests that are coming out next week and the week after that. And until they stop coming out, I will keep pushing quests right away to finish them. And basically, I'm just going to go over every single quest in the game, tell you how to do them, show you where if you're not sure, um, and give you any sort of tips that I have to finish the quests. So, to start off with, I'm going to cover, I'm going to try to cover all the location quests, or I might just like show them. I mean, some of these quests I'm not really going to go over. Obviously, they're very easy, like this right here, for example. You know, three of each potion, nothing really to go for there. Just find the potions, easy. Uh, kill Kobold Archers and Axemen, super easy. Explore the Wolf Cave location. Okay, this is one of the first ones. Location quest. Wolf Cave is right here on the map. This right here is the Wolf Cave. Right here on Ice Caves. So, moving on. After that, we have In the Walls. Explore the Dark Magic Library. So, that is this one right here. It is the library, which is right here. This module right here is the library. This one right here. It's on several different maps. This is just one of the modules that it has it on. I'm just showing you what the module looks like so you can find it. All right, moving on. And then kill warlocks and wizards. Thank God they've changed these quests. So instead of it being in a specific uh, area, you can do them any map. Makes it much, much easier. Uh, my only advice really for these quests is whenever you load in, turn on streamer mode, and then you can see what type of characters uh, died. Because instead of it showing, like, Toddfather TTV died to Goblin Archer, it'll say Fighter 16 has died to Goblin Archer. And you can see the classes that are dying. So if, you know, all the Warlocks are dead or all the Wizards are dead, you can leave the game and go to the next one and not be wasting your time while you're trying to grind this quest. All right, odd ingredients. Take six syntax skulls, six moldy bread, two mimic teeth. Moldy bread drops from zombies and skeletons. Intact skulls drops from all skeleton type mobs. And then mimic teeth obviously drop from mimics. Potion trials use healing potions, invis pots, magic brought pots, potion of protections, and howling crypts during one session. Just buy these pots, load it, and use them. They don't have to be gray, it's just any type of potion. And it says must escape, but that's not true. You don't have to. You can just load it and use them and then leave the game and it'll finish. Uh, kill 15 death skulls in one run. Pretty much just look for pyramid. Load into howling crypts. Look for pyramid. Boom. Done. Sovereign's curse. Kill five demon berserkers. Kill one ghost king. You know, nothing too crazy there. Armorer. Uh, six cobalt ore. You can mine it on goblin caves. Uh, I will show you the ore spawns right now because I've had a lot of people ask me about them because they're not really sure where they're at. Uh, these are not the ore spawns. The ore spawns are... The ore spawns are, they can be in this room right here. They can be up top around the edges or down below uh, where, like, the bugs are. Or they can be up here in this room. These are the only two ore spawns on the map now. They can be all around here. They can be all around here. Uh, just any spawn that could be copper or, like, you know, iron. It can also be a cobalt spawn. That is the best advice to have. Just go there. Look for mine it. Boom. All right. Oh. Oh, excuse me. I just woke up. Kill 15 skeletons, super easy. Surviving the dungeon four times, howling crypts, very easy. Ruby silver, okay. Ruby silver spawns in one particular place, or I guess technically not one particular place, but so ruby silver will spawn in this module here. It'll spawn on this right, like this little platform and this little platform. There will be two nodes. In this module, it will spawn in this room right here. This is the spider room with all the spider pots. It will spawn around the room here, usually like right over here and like right like in one of these little areas over here or over here in the corner against the spider pot. Also, in this room, you can find gold ore, specifically this room right here and this room right here. The gold ore will be up top here and down below here. And it is the same on the Skeleton King map or the Skeleton King, the Warlord uh, map. It's uh, once again, the gold's here, up top and down below. And Ruby Silver's here. So no matter which map you get on, you can find gold and ruby. Uh, moving on, Braving the Shadows, kill clerics and rogues, once again, streamer mode, incredibly easy, now, kill elite grade goblin archer, elite grade goblin axeman, um, there's a bug going on where you don't actually have, for it, it doesn't actually have to be elite, it can just be anything, it'll automatically count, so, you know, you can go norms and do this, super easy, fortune teller, use potion of luck, uh, just buy the normal potion of luck, load into a goblin caves run, make sure you load into the full game, then use the potion of luck, and then you can leave the game. And then just do that. It'll take you like an hour and a half because the shop has to refresh. Boom. 
or if nothing else, just, you know, if you don't do it all at once, just buy the potions, store them, take three in, use them all at once. Bing, bang, boom, done. Hidden Destiny, surviving the dungeon, three goblin caves arrives, easy, kill Death Beetle, Death Skulls, and Mimics. Uh, once again, super easy, Death Beetles, Death Skulls are, your Death Beetles are all over goblin caves. Death Skulls everywhere, Mimics, uh, there are a few guaranteed Mimic spawns, um... Yeah, I, the best, the easiest one to like show you guys, I guess, is house. I guess I can show you guys a couple guaranteed mimic spawns. While I'm sitting here thinking about it, houses. Where's houses? House on which which maps? House on. Uh, why doesn't house on these maps? Okay, here it is. Oh wait, no, wait, no, it's not. What am I talking about? Oh, here it is. Yeah, right there. So this right here is what I call house. Uh, this is like the cage module right here in the middle. If you step on the pressure plate in the middle, it slims a bunch of things. But back here along this wall, there are three chests. These three chests will always be mimics. So you can look for this room specifically, or you can run around. There are some other guaranteed spawns, but that is probably the easiest one to access to complete this quest. All right. Uh, an interact altar of sacrifice. Basically, just load in with a friend or find somebody, load in, uh, kill them, or run to a red shrine, kill them, revive them, run to the next one, kill them, revive them. Super easy. This also helps you farm your team killer name if you want to, so that's cool. Spoily Icicle Cave location. This is the very middle room on, uh, what's it called? This is the very, very middle room on Ice Cavern right here that has the horde in it. This is the Icicle Cave. Uh, next one, uh, five blue crystal balls. Now, this quest actually took me a very, very long time. It was one of the longest quests it took that I, I had to do. There's only uh, one or two that took me longer. So, basically, just run around. Uh, if you go HR, it's much easier. Like, you can get, like, HR Ruins or HR Goblin Caves. It's much easier because you have higher rarity items uh, that have a higher drop chance. Break all the boxes and barrels you find. Loot all the coffins. Uh, I've heard people say they spawn in coffins more. I haven't really had much luck with that. But basically, just run around, break every box, every barrel, and you'll find these eventually. It's a pain, but it is what it is. Uh, obscured Paths, Interact with Torch. I've had people say they have issues with this quest. I mean, all I did was I just ran around and turned torches on, or turned torches off, and it finished the quest for me. So, I don't know. Just do that. If you have a problem with it, try something else. Uh, destroy five spider pots in one session. Uh, nothing you know, really difficult here. Just super easy to run around and find them. Kill eight demon dogs and one skeleton warlord. Super easy. And I just want to say, for the fortune teller, most of her quest rewards aren't... I mean, her like, she doesn't really give you much. Like, you get a discount for, like, potions and stuff. Like, you see my uh, big luck pot's only 128 gold now. And then some of the quest rewards are pretty good, like Legendary Falchion, Legendary Club, uh, Purple Bear Pendants. But most of them aren't that crazy. They're just kind of like, whatever. All right, on to the Goblin Merchant. Uh, kill, you know, five of each goblin. Super easy. Explore the Cave Altar location. And I will show you guys. That is the... Red, that's one of the red shrine rooms. That is this room right here that used to have a red shrine on it. This is the cave altar. All right. Uh, moving on. A goblin's pride. Just 10 goblin ears. Kill a bunch of goblins. They'll drop their ears. Keep them. Turn them in. Done. Kill seven players in goblin caves. Uh, if you're playing goblin caves doing all these the quests, it won't be hard for you. Kill two giant centipedes, two giant spiders, five goblin mages. Once again, just random goblin cave stuff. Incredibly easy. You get a free gold bag for it, so that's awesome. Then survive three times in the dungeon, must escape consecutively. The easiest thing I can do to tell you to do this is just spawn in, go sit in a corner of the map with like three campfires or whatever, sit beside a static and wait and it'll open. Uh, buggy bonds. Uh, you need four beetle wings and two bug shells. The best way to farm this is go to this room right here on the map. This room has a ton of big spiders in it and a ton of death beetles and all that stuff. You go here, I guarantee you, you will come out with at least one of the materials you needed for this quest. Usually, probably two to three. Like, I think the first time I did this, I got, like, a bug shell and two wings, right? So, it's super easy to do. Also, while you're here, make sure you're killing the big spiders, because you will need a spider silk for a later quest that I'm going to show you guys. And next one, Crate Chaos. Destroy small wooden crates. The small wooden crates are actually the normal size wooden crates. Uh, it's the bit... The, what they mean is the normal size or big ones are the ones that are really long that have three items in them. But um, the normal ones are just, you know, there's the normal crates that will drop two items. So I don't know why they call them small. I think they're the normal size ones or whatever. Kill Elite Grey Goblin during one session. Like I said, super easy. Because all goblins count for this quest. Nothing crazy here. Shiny Secrets interact with two Lion's Head chests. Um, this one isn't that hard. Uh, there's a couple that you can find on the map. If nothing else, bring lock picks because often they, times they can be locked. But other than that, super easy. Gamba, surviving the dungeon three times without taking any damage. This isn't consecutively. 
So this isn't actually as hard as it sounds. Uh, the best advice I have is, like I said, just spawn in, try to hide on the edge of the map or hide near a static in the dark. Just sit down, literally like turn the torch off, sit down in the complete darkness, and just wait. Really boring quest, but it's not actually hard to complete. More often than not, most people are just going to completely... Just don't let people see you. If they see you, they're probably going to hit you because people are annoying. But, yeah. And this quest actually has really good rewards. It has a legendary spellbook and a legendary rapier. I got a really good rolled legendary rapier, and I sold mine for a skull key plus uh, gold bag. So, yeah, that was pretty nice. You get a, If you get lucky, you can get really good rewards from this quest to make a lot of money. And then, uh, one-eyed foe, kill one Cyclops, and you get a gold bag. Super easy. Well, not super easy, but learning Cyclops isn't that hard. Alright, survive six times in the Goblin Caves for this guy. Explore Goblin Prison's A location. Okay, Goblin Prison A is right. Where is it at? I believe it is right here. It's somewhere in this like area where the static is. I'm pretty sure it's like up here or something, like this little cut, but I don't know. It's like around here. I'm like 99% sure. Honestly, it's been so long since I've done this. I don't really remember, but I'm pretty sure that's where it was. Maybe I'm wrong, though. Who knows? Nothing else. You can find the map name on Reddit. Uh, five looted leather caps. Super easy. Kill elite grade frost skeleton archer, elite grade frost skeleton crossbowmen. So this one isn't difficult, but it is kind of annoying because there aren't that many uh, crossbowmen on the map at one time. Uh, as you see here, these are the only ones. Uh, these three here are guaranteed spawns. Uh, I'm not sure about this one, and up here is a chance for one to spawn. It's like a 50-50 or something between an archer and a berserker. So the best thing I can tell you to do is just spawn in, rush to these three right here, kill them, leave, repeat, GG. And then archers, as you, I'm sure you guys know, are literally all over the map. So pyramid's probably the easiest place to kill them, but, you know, whatever. Kill barbarians and fighters, five each. Uh, nothing hard here, just kill five of each character. Uh, and then interact with oak chest and ice caverns during one session. It has to be specifically just the oak chest. Not small, not large, just oak chest. Not actually that hard. Just run around in like two to three modules and you'll finish this real, uh, relatively easily. Alright, what am I on next? Surgeon? Okay, Surgeon. Uh, five looted bandages. Uh, kill one centipede. Three goblin mages. Explore the stone graves A location. So this is a room I'm sure everybody's been to many, 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 many times. But, just in case you don't know which one it is, it is this one right here. This has, like, the goblin in the middle with the three warriors surrounding it, and then the, uh, chest behind the, all three of them. Alright, uh, moving on. We have Doctor's Order. Explore the four rooms location. This is Foursquare. I'm not gonna bring this up on a map. You know where Foursquare is. If you don't, I don't know, man. It's four squares. Pretty self-explanatory. Dead Eradication, kill Elite Grade Mummy, Elite Grade Zombie. I uh, remember, just has to be normal mummies or normal zombies. The Elite Grade is, like, kind of fake. I don't know why it's wrong, but, yeah. Use Item Search Kit, 7 out of 7. So, there is a quest that gives you Surge Kits. Uh, where's that? Which one is this? Leathersmith, actually? Uh, hold on. I'm actually going to find this. Is it Goblin? Oh, yeah, right here. So... This quest gives you three white surgical kits. I would recommend saving them so you can bring them in later to do this quest here. Uh, that lets you use seven surge kits. I mean, you don't have to because you can find surge kits in raids. You can buy them if you really want to. But all you have to do is just bring seven surge kits into runs and then use them. Doesn't have to be normal. They can be green. They can be blue. They can be whatever they are. And you can use them for the quest. But those three are three less you have to find and three less you have to buy. Oh, excuse me. And makes it easy. Uh, Frost Aid, use Bandage, Healing Pot, Surge Kits, and Ice Caves, Sacrifice Healing, uh, interact with three Shrines of Health and Ice Caves during one session, just run around and find them, there's a few that are guaranteed, but most Shrines are RNG, it can be a, a Res Shrine, or Health Shrine, or Prot Shrine, or, you know, whatever, I think it's just actually Res or Health Shrine, but anyways, it can be a bunch of random Shrines, just run around until you find three, not that hard, and then Silent Entry, interact with the Gold Chest on any map, just take a lockpick, run around for high rarity chests, and loot them, easy, uh, Creative space. Kill Demon Berserker, Demon Bat, Skeleton Mage. Go to hell. Easy. Uh, quid Pro Quo. Item requested by Merchant. Copper Light Attire, Copper Light Pants. So, he also crafts these. Uh, you need these two right here, which requires a white Occultist Pants and a white Wanderer Attire, plus Copper Ore. Uh, if you're lucky, this guy will be selling it, I'm pretty sure. Like, I, I think he can. Yeah, like, if you're lucky, he'll be selling this, but in, like, a white rarity. Like, he's already selling these right here. If not, you can go buy it off the... Uh, you can go buy it off the market. And just a little note, if you just finished this last quest and you tried to do this one immediately, you have to wait till the shops refresh. Otherwise, he won't be selling or he won't have the ability to craft these yet. So you might just have to wait a tiny minute. Uh, and for the copper, you can mine it yourself or you could buy it. Uh, but if you're doing... 
<sighs> if you're doing the cobalt quest and stuff, you're going to run into a ton of copper. So just mine, like, I think it's 16 ore. Give or take. Yeah, I think it's the 16 ores you need for this quest. So just buy the ore, turn it into powder. Super easy to do. Then so in Secrecy, explore the Blood Platform's location. Okay. Uh, this is in Crypt's Hell. Blood Platforms is, I believe it's this module here on the top left. But it's, it's not this module. It's this one on the top right. I don't know for certain. I, I'm pretty sure it's this one on the top left, though. Pretty sure. But like I said, if it's not this one, it's this one over here. Uh, but just run to both of them to make sure you have it. And then you get Ruby Silver Vestments. And then Elegance Execution. Kill Bards and Rangers. Way easier now. Don't forget the streamer mode uh, tip. Uh, Tailored Wellness. Interact with six health shrines and goblin caves. It doesn't have to be in one run or anything. This can just be, you know. However, it's just run around check out the shrines. And then sprucing up. Requires three enchanted dark fabric, eight old cloth, and one spider silk. Uh, the spider silk, like I said, farm in that one room I showed you earlier for the death beetles also. Uh, you'll get it relatively fast. Uh, enchanted dark fabric uh, drops from skeleton mages, and then old cloth can drop from skeletons, zombies, uh, a ton of different things. Not super uh, rare. Just make sure you keep it if you find it. Tavern Master. Tavern Master has some really good quests. Uh, explore the barracks location. I actually remember where this is now because I was asking about it yesterday. Barracks is... This room right here that's got Skelly Champ in it. This one right here. This is Barracks. And right beside it, we have the Old Tomb. You will need to come here in a minute. You'll need to come here for two different quests. This is the Old Tomb. Don't forget that. All right. Uh, now, moving on. Come to the territory. Kill a bunch of skeletons. Hidden reserves. Uh, five looted ale, which is, uh, you know, you can find this. Breaking barrels. Building trust. You need two broken swords, two bones, two teeth, and two broken skulls. I don't know why... It says I only have one out of two when I have the quest completed. Uh, maybe they changed it. it. used to be one or something, but who knows. But yeah, this is what you need. Turn this in. Quest done. Uh, kill Skelly Champ. Kill Wraith. Skelly, uh, kill Skelly Mage. Just kill the elites on the normal dungeon. Uh, survive five times in Howling Crypts. Frozen Gaze. Uh, glowing Blue Ice Eyes. Okay, this uh, these drop from Frostwalkers, which are in the Ice Caverns. And Frostwalkers are... Let me turn these off. Oh, no. Let me turn these off. You see, there are four locations you can kill Frostwalkers. Uh, two of these are directly underneath the boats that spawn. These right here, this room here, and this room here are the boat extracts. This one here, they are all in the bottom in the mist. And this one here, they are also in the bottom in the mist. But these are really easy to farm. And the best part is, both rooms have static extracts. And they're both close to the uh, boat extracts. So you can get them super early and then go wait for the boat. Because if you're unaware, the boat does come multiple times during the run. And it starts coming like two minutes after the run starts. So you can get them and get out really, really fast. Frosty Escape, survive five times at Ice Caves, a giant problem, kill giant berserkers and giant shielders. I don't need to show you where these guys are. These guys are everywhere. Uh, dark Disappearances, kill 15 Death Skulls, five Dragonflies, 10 Mummies. Uh, kill 10 or kill five Elite Grade Axemen, five Elite Grade Spearmen. Uh, explore Dark Ritual Room A location. Okay, so this specifically, Dark Ritual Room A is the boss room in Inferno. It is the middle room. However, it's A. A is the Lich module, so you can only it only counts if you explore the boss room on the Lich module to get this, right? You get Ghost King or Warlord, doesn't complete the quest. Has to be Lich. Alright, Blessings B, interact with all four shrines in one run. Uh, if you get Colosseum, this is incredibly easy because you can just run around the ring and each individual uh, like little cubby will have a different shrine. So, if not, just run around on crypts and you can find them, look for shrine room or something like that, but this will be really, really easy. Protector's Wrath, kill two Demon Berserkers, three Demon, cent uh, demon Centaurs, and then turn in a Centaur Hoof. Nothing hard here. Centaur Hoof's kind of rare, but not crazy rare. If you go to hell and you kill a bunch of Centaurs, you'll find this. And then Confronting the Darkness, kill ten Elite Grade Skeletons and one Lich, and then you get your Stash Tab. Boom. Wow. Stash Tab. And you can also buy two more. So you see I have six Stash Tabs right now, so you can buy two more. It doesn't matter what order you claim this in. If you buy your Stash Tabs and then claim it, you... Get the same amount of stash tabs that if you claimed this one and then bought two more. It doesn't lock you out or anything. Don't worry about that. I know I've had some people asking me questions about that. Uh, Alright, collector quest. Kill Frost Giant Berserker, Frost Wolf, Frost Walker. Just showed you where Frost Walkers are and the Wolves are. Uh, showed you Wolf Cave earlier. Really easy. More like home. Turn in Ancient Scrolls, Gold Crowns, Gold Water Pots. So if you go into Ice Caves on norms and not hr and you go into pyramid and down below pyramid at the back of it there's a big chest and there's a royal coffin behind the royal coffin there will be water pots more often than not in norms i think it's almost always in norms actually but go back there you can get your water pots these two you'll just find them normally pulling from the horde or doing whatever you do does they don't have to specifically be cracked they can be any rarity but cracked is just you know the easiest or the cheapest to turn in 
Frosty Pest, uh, kill Kobolds, turn 8 Kobold Ears. Not friendly, kill 12 players in any dungeon. Frost Mountain Ascent, explore the 4 root location. Uh, this is the Elevator Extract right here. This is this one right here, Elevator Extract. That is 4 roots. Alright, uh, Peculiar Collections, turn in... Four wolf pelts, four moldy bread, four wolf fangs, and six grave essence. So the wolf pelts and wolf fangs, you farm them in wolf cave, like I showed you earlier. For the quest you have to go to, it's not too hard to get them. After you get them, you could go right north to the uh, boat extract that's right up there waiting on you. Dip out there. Moldy bread drops from like skeletons and zombies. Not super rare, but not super common either. Uh, but if you play decently, you'll find these. And then grave essence drops from a lot of different things. Uh, you find this all the time. All right. Now, for these two quests right here, some of the most annoying quests in the game. Frozen Assets. Kill 15 Elite Grid Skeletons during one session. That's easy. Guiding Light. 15 Looted Oil Lanterns. Now, this one is kind of a pain. So, the best advice I can tell you to get these is farm bats, like Death Skulls. So, load in. Go to Pyramid. Crypts. Crypts Pyramid. Go to Crypts Pyramid. Kill all the bats. There's no Oil Lanterns. Reset. That's the easiest way to do this. Because... Bats have like a 12% chance of dropping oil lanterns. Everything else, it's like it's like a 1% chance at a chest or something. Way lower, way more convenient to farm the bats. And statistically, there's over, you know, there, there's enough bats. In, or I mean, it's like an 8.5% chance or something. I don't know. But there's enough bats in Pyramid that statistically you should be getting at least one a run. It's kind of a pain and it's not really fun. But just go in there, uh, kill the bats, get the oil lantern, go camp a static, get out. But after that, this quest... So, for reference, I streamed last night for 11 hours to finish these two quests alone. Just these two quests. Took me 11 hours. So, this quest takes two Wendigo Hooves and six Wendigo Sharp Claws. Alright. On the ice map, there are four Wendigos. Uh, as you see here, there's one in the middle at the Horde. There's one underneath the elevator room, and there's one at this shrine. Then there is one in here blocked behind some ice. So the one in here is super easy to kill. The best way to do it is come in to one of these exits over here, specifically this one or this one. Shoot it, pull it out, don't deal with all the kobolds. Uh, this one up here, the easiest way to do this one is go through here first, kill this one, break the ice. Uh, if you're a fighter player, take a halberd like you see I have in my inventory. Take a halberd to break the ice. Uh, if you're a barbarian, you can use like war maul. Um, I'm not a double axe maybe. Uh, other uh, cleric can use war maul. Other classes can't really break it. Uh, wizard could probably fire. Wizard could fireball it, I imagine. But then after you kill this one, go down here to this staircase. Shoot at this Wendigo. Pull him up so you don't have to deal with all the kobolds. And then kill him in here. And then after you do that one, loop back around, up through here, over here, and right here. Come down through here. Kill the, uh, kill the kobolds. There will be three barrels right here in this little area. There's two standing up, and there's one laying down. Shoot this guy with something you know like a crossbow or something if you're a fighter shoot this guy drag him about here and then jump on these set of barrels that hot the high ones and then back against the wall and the wendigo will bug out and you can just sit there and shoot him and kill him but other than that that is like the only advice i can really give you i mean there's an easy way to kill the wendigo uh if you crouch okay once again if you have a shield if you crouch directly on the wendigo and he does the swipes they won't hit you however if he does the charge attack Take a slight step back and block up, and you will block his charge. However, if you do this wrong, his charge will headshot you, and it will do over half your health. Just keep that in mind. Most of these things are all located near red, uh, health shrines and or red shrines, though. But yeah, so this quest is kind of a pain. Like I said, it took me, unironically, I think about six hours to find five Wendigo Sharp Claws. For reference, I found six Frozen Hearts. Before I found six uh, claws. Actually, I never found six. I only found six claws or five claws because I, I started with one out of six. I have three. My friend has three frozen hearts. I don't know if I'm. Gonna, I'm. You'll probably need these for a quest later. I'm gonna be honest though. If you do this quest, you will get these hearts. I guarantee it. I promise. So the collector uh, thing is honestly, you could probably skip this quest. The current rewards aren't really worth much. I mean, they're kind of whatever. Like I said, like you get demon grips, which are useless. These are just worse than mystic gloves. And then you get heavy leather legs, which are, you know, they could roll good, but probably they won't. Mine were shit. I sold mine for like 50 gold on the uh, to the vendor. But as of right now, this quest light isn't really worth doing. I just did it because I wanted to complete the quest. Because I'm a sick man. But yeah. Uh, good luck if you decide to do it. 
Ceremonial Secrets. Ceremonial Daggers. Uh, turn in five of those. Uh, explore the old tomb location. Uh, this is the room I showed earlier. That is right beside the uh, barracks on Crips. I think it was... Which room was I looking at? Uh, right here. It is this room right here. Also, Old Tomb is the area that you're going to loot your stone uh, coffins in or stone tombs in. There are six because there's three on each wall. Or I guess it's probably... Yeah, there's three on each wall. So you just go through here. You loot these. It'll make the quest much, much easier if you just farm that room in particular. All right. And Echoes of Eternity. Kill three wraiths. Uh, lies in the coffin. Explore a pyramid location. I don't need to show you guys that. Silver lore. 200 silver coins. Mimics and money. Uh, kill seven mimics. Uh, and then turn two mimic teeth. I showed you some static mimic, spawn, uh, static mimic spawns earlier. If you want more, just pull up the map yourself. Like the one I'm using. You can find the link... Search up dark and darker maps and look for dark and darker interactive map. Super easy. Bundle of Bengals. Uh, you need one of every Bengal and they have to be specifically blue. Uh, just run around and like HR and farm for these. Goblin Caves is super easy. Crypts is easy. HR. Um, Ice Caves is easy. Uh, you know, just hit a horde or something. You'll find these Bengals. Just save them all until you turn them in each run. Golden Entry. Interact with Golden Door. So you have to, you have to use the Golden Key at the golden door uh but i mean like that's why you get one right here so you have to go here you have to use the golden door uh the easiest one to access is the one on coliseum just rush there and open it right away or there's some others that you can get uh i can try to show you guys where some are i'm not sure how updated this map actually is um let me see if it's on here uh like right here i'm not even sure if this is it this could be old rusty key or golden key i'm like i'm really not sure uh i don't even think they have the thing in here anymore maybe oh there's stone tombs on the map oh there's stone tombs on the map that's crazy uh yeah i don't even think they have the um it doesn't even look like they have the uh the like the like, gold jitter oh it's it's, oh, it's it's not hr huh okay that explains it whatever i don't oh there okay yeah, yeah i can do it this way and this should have golden keys right Let's see marvelous just horde yep there it is horde so this right uh, so this room right here you're looking for this module right here that has the golden key this one because you go down and then this room right here you unlock has a golden key in it so look for this module on your maps uh wherever this one is there will be a golden key and if not then wherever you get coliseum obviously there's one in the middle of coliseum that is the easiest way to do this but you know if you're scared then just queue like a dead server and do it it'll make it way easier for the demon throne location uh in hell Okay, where is Demon Throne? Inferno. Inferno 1. Demon Throne is right here. Actually, I'm not sure if this is... De Demon Throne is either... It's it's one of three rooms. It's this room, this room, or this room. I don't remember which one it is. I just know it's one of those three rooms. So, just go to those three. You could hit all three in the same run. Not very hard. Uh, I think it's this north one or the bottom right one i don't think it's this bottom i think this bottom one's death altar but i could be wrong maybe it's maybe this maybe this demon throne maybe it's, i think it's i think it's death throne actually but anyways uh just go to this three modules you'll find it not a big deal it won't take you too long gold rush uh or also you get this is a grim smile for your wondering that's what the reward here is so gold rush uh interact a treasure hoard on goblin caves so this is four unique treasure hordes you can't pull off the same hoard four times to complete this quest so the best thing to do is kill a troll, hit that horde, go kill Cyclops, hit that horde one time, leave, go do it again, quest is done. Then you have to kill Cave Troll one time and you get some legendary shit. Uh, pretty nice. And then for your gold coin chest, you have to turn in all of the all of the legendary gems. If you've been collecting these, I hope you have. Turn in all legendary gems and you get your gold coin chest. Weapons Smith, Weapons Smith hasn't got any new quests yet. It's just five blue weapons. Uh, explore Pyramid on Ice Caves. Kill Wendigo and Frostwalkers, uh, six gold ore. I showed you where the gold ore was earlier. Kill three players in one session and interact with stone tombs, like I just showed you in the old tomb. For Woodsmen, uh, five blue campfires. Kill one centaur, five demon dogs. Explore Prison's A location. So Prison's A used to not be in the game. And everybody's like, ooh, where's Prison's A? Where's Prison's A? Prison's A is actually Prison's B. They just renamed it. And it is right here, this module. This module right here is oh, this module right here is Prison Day. This right here is Prison Day. Used to be named Prison B, but it was, it was a mistake on their part. It is Prison Day. All right, cramp quarters. Kill twelve players of any type. Uh, seven looted Molotovs. Uh, 
explore the waiting room location. So this is in hell. Uh, this is in hell on Lich Map. I think it's only is it on Lich Map? Yeah, it's only on Lich Map. It's this little square room over here that has like the bats in the middle and the centaurs and stuff on the outside. Just walk in here. Mission completed. And move on. Then we have Infernal Champions. Kill three bats, two berserkers, three centaurs, eight dogs. Amidst peril, survive three times in howling crypts. Must escape consecutively, like I said. Same for goblin caves earlier. Uh, just go camp and extract when you still spawn in. Not that hard. And haunting present, explore all three boss rooms. Ritual room A, B, C. This is Lich, Ghost King, Warlord. And then the request rewards are very mid. However, that is all the quests. And now I could go show you craftables. We have access to Pangs of Death and Grim Smiles. As you see, Grim Smiles are incredibly cheap. One gold ingot, one gold two, three hundred gold. And then you could potentially get something. Or you can get a complete dud like this. Uh, Fangs of Death. Armor distill only has Cobalt and Copper. This guy, uh, or this girl has, um, nothing to craft. Goblin Merchant unlocks more items. Leathersmith has access to Demon Grips, Grave Wolf Gloves, Foul Boots, Demon Clads, Wolf Hunters, Tripelt Northern, and a Gold Coin Bag, and everything else here is mid. Squire, you can see my Squire right here. I have a ton of different things in here. It'll update again whenever we get access to the armor and stuff quest, uh, but for now, we don't have the fully white gear yet. Surgeon, you can buy green, uh, like up to white meds with a discount. Taylor has a ton of different gear. And then he has Cobalt and uh, Copper. Tavern Master, just high rarity like instruments and stuff. The Collector, nothing. Treasurer, uh, nothing. Weaponsmith, we have access to crafting up to uh, green weapons now. And then he could sell up to blue rarity weapons, I believe. Uh, correct me if I'm... Oh yeah, blue rarity weapons right there. But that pretty much sums it up for all the quests. Um... Other than that, not a ton to say about them. Most of the quests, a lot of the quests aren't super worth doing right now, if I had to say. Like, you know, for example, like this collector quest, like to do this right here. For the amount of time that's going to take, the quest rewards really aren't worth it. Uh, maybe there's a quest that comes out later that'll be worth it. I don't know. That's kind of why I'm doing it, just in case there is. Also, it's just, you know, it's content for me. I'm streaming it, so it gives me something to stream. But anyways, that will cover the entire questing guide for chapters 1 through 4. I hope you guys enjoyed, and as always, thank you for watching, and I will catch you guys next time. Peace.